my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we begin the novena to two great saints in the Christian tradition, Saints Anne and Joachim, patron saints of the two guilds found in our country, the guild of St. Anne and the guild of St. Joachim. Two saints who are revered and held with high esteem in the church as saints who can teach us a lot about the family. As we begin this novena, it will not be a waste of time to try and reflect on family life guided by the spirituality that emanates from these two great saints. What immediately comes to my mind that we might want to spend time reflecting on are those three phrases that capture the spirituality of St. Anne. Better hearts, better homes, and better fields. Over the coming days, we will explore what these phrases may mean to us today in the here and now. And we'll try and open up the guild's spirituality that is embodied in the two saints. As we continue to reflect, we will look at what it means to be men and women of better hearts. We will look at what it means to be men and women who live in better homes. We will look at what it means to be men and women who have better fields. I think as we begin today, we might want to acknowledge one thing, that the spirituality of St. Anne and St. Joachim Guilds is not limited to the members of the Guild. If anything, it preserves something of Christian spirituality, which is so vast and which we cannot fully comprehend. And yet through these guilds, we are reminded of something that is essential in our Christian spirituality. A spirituality that is drawn from Christ himself. A spirituality that is an aid to us to be Christ-like. A spirituality that accompanies us on our journey as pilgrims on this earth. And so I urge you, my dear brothers and sisters, as you begin this novena, to open yourselves to the promptings of the Spirit, to listen to our sharings with hearts that want to be changed, with an intention to make our homes a spiritually dwelling place for God, and with a desire that the Lord may bless the fruits of our works, the modern day fields that we find ourselves in. We pray that through the intercession of Saints Ain and Joachim, over these coming nine days, we may be drawn closer to the Lord in prayer, in reflection, and in union with one another. May their prayers accompany us and may their intercession spare us on as we engage in these reflective days. <laughs> 